गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव बीन ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटिंग द चैप्टर आई एम नॉट एट कम्प्लीटेड बट वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ एंड वी हैव डन सो मच इन दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड प्रो कैरेटिक सेल यू कैरेटिक सेल वी हैव डन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इंडो प्लास्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स वी हैव डन सो वी हैड डिस कंटिन्यूड आफ्टर दैट सो आई एल बी कंटिन्यूंग विथ हियर एंड इफ यू पीपल हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन जस्ट Uh, tell me the doubts like you can ask me the doubts in case of uh, in uh, comments so that again i'll be dealing i'll be clearing all the doubts okay so we will be today talking about plastids plastids so the question arises what are plastids you people have already heard about this plastids in case where we were studying about the difference between animal cell and plant cell we people have written this plastids in case of plant cells they are not present in animal cells so by that only you can understand that they are most useful for plants and they are not at all useful for animals that is why they are not present in animal cell now what are plastids even plastids are nothing but they are the cell organelles then what is the function of plastids why they are present in plant cells so see plastids they are usually present in plant cells and they are also present in euglenoids they are also present in euglenoids you know about euglenoids euglenoids you know they are protestants and you can you know euglenoids have been put into that protesta why because sometimes they act as plant sometimes they act as animal i mean sometimes they have this behavior of uh, heterotrophic nature sometimes they have this autotrophic nature because they have this plastids whenever sunlight is there they trap the sunlight and they help in photosynthesis when sunlight is absent they depend upon others for its food that is why euglenoids are put into protesta why because they they have plastids that is why they can become autotrophic sometime whenever they require i mean whenever sunlight is present so in ncert these two things are given so plastids are also present in some of the dinoflagellates some of the you know diatoms also but most mostly they are present in plants and euglenoids now next thing what are the functions of plastids so you understood now where it is present it's present in plants as well as euglenoids now what is the function of plastids the main function of plastids first of all because it is present in plants you can understand they are present in plants because they have this function of photosynthesis they help in photosynthesis then okay we'll talk about that what is the other function then only photosynthesis also they help in storage of materials storage of materials you know it also helps in storage of materials so these are the two things then you might ask me questions like ma'am uh, we have till now we know that plastids are required you know plant have the different colors plastids usually you know impart color for the plants yes obviously it does but main function is photosynthesis second function is storage whenever they are going for this function of photosynthesis why they help in photosynthesis that is important right plastids help in photosynthesis the why they help in photosynthesis because they have pigments in them so what is the main reason because they have pigments in them because they have pigments so what they do they help in photosynthesis right so based on pigments and based on storage we can again divide this plastids into different types i hope you understood this much first thing where they are present they are present in plants they are present in euglenoids what is the main function main function is photosynthesis why they are helping in photosynthesis because they have pigments in them then what is the function of pigments that we will be seeing later now the second function is storage of materials so we can also tell that according to you people that it also imparts imparts what color it imparts color for the color it we can say that it it imparts color okay so these are the three important functions of plastids so this much is important to remember next so till now what we have understood we have understood where plastids are present what is their function all those things and now we will be seeing types of plastids see 
based on function and based on the pigments usually plastids are divided into three different types so how many types are there in plastids there are three types so based on what based on their storage things or we can say based on function based on function and based on the pigment present or absence of pigment you can say pigment ka kya pigment they know absent idea atwa present idea whether it is present or absent based on this plastids are divided into three different types so which are those three different types of plastids right so we will see that first of all the first type is chloroplast the first type is chloroplast very well known cell organelle right very well known pigment where we have studied chloroplast do you remember we had done this in photosynthesis chapter it is very very important for the process of photosynthesis then we have the next one that is chromoplast chromoplast the second one is chromoplast and the last one is leucoplast the last one is leucoplast and i already told you types of plastids are based on what based on their function based on the pigment absence or presence of pigment obviously pigments are present in these two so the name only indicates right you have already know very well about this Chlo chloroplast right chloro is specially meant for what it's meant for chlorophyll so which pigment which pigment is present in chloroplast obviously it will be chlorophyll and some carotenes are also present what about chromoplast chromo means what chromo means color so here you find pigments which actually impart color for the plants and chloro means what it is chlorophyll and you know which color chlorophyll actually gives to the plant it is green in color right it impacts green color what about this the plastids which are present here that is the chromoplast the pigments which are present here are they are carotenes and we have xanthophylls right these are the pigments then what about leucoplast see chloro for green chromo for colors different colors we have carotenes for yellowish color xanthophyll for yellow color carotenes for orange and other color what about leucoplast then leucoplast especially they have divided into this type because they do not have any pigments they have pigments which are colorless you can say or they don't have any pigments pigments are colorless that is why leucoplast will not have any color so now what are the functions of these different types of plastids see chloroplast usually plays very important role in which function that is photosynthesis function is photosynthesis so what is the function in photosynthesis it has the chlorophyll the pigment what it does it absorbs the light it captures the light and then it harvests that light so that energy is produced in which reaction we had done this in light reaction then what about chromoplast since it has different pigments you might have seen different colors of leaves different colors in fruits different colors of plants that is because of chromoplast in case of uh, tomatoes in case of fruits you know different colors are there because of this chromoplast the function is to impart color then what is the so color the main function of chromoplast is to impart what impart color then what is the function of leucoplast since it has this colorless pigment the main function of leucoplast is storage the main function is storage it helps in storage of materials as i already told you the main function of plastids is photosynthesis and storage so you can understand your chloroplast are meant for photosynthesis some of the carotenes are also present here and the leucoplast are meant for what they are meant for storage i hope this much you people have understood so you can just note it down okay so now again in leucoplast we have different types so for storage also everything cannot be stored in just in leucoplast in that also division of labor is there different leucoplasts are present for different uh, storage of materials so we will see that different types of leucoplast right so we have understood
types of plastids chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast chloroplast for photosynthesis chromo which gives color leucoplast is colorless why it is colorless and why it is sometimes it is doesn't have pigments also because it main function is storage so now what will be seen will be seen types of what types of leucoplast types of leucoplasts yes there are different types of leucoplast for different storage i told you right so which are the different types then we will see those different types now so we have three different types of leucoplast how many types we have three different types of leucoplast which are those first one is amyloplast right second one is elioplast okay so which are the different types first is amylo second is elio then we have alluroplast and you know very well leucoplast ka function in re leucoplast in function madatte the main function of leucoplast is storage right so these three are different types of leucoplast then obviously they are storing some different types of materials then which materials it is actually storing this is what is important okay so what we need to remember here which are the what are the things it is actually storing amyloplast the main storage of amyloplast is carbohydrate carbohydrate now you can easily remember this you know how we have amylase enzyme have you heard this in salivary amylase we have heard this amylase enzyme is meant for what it's meant for digesting carbohydrates right so amylo means what carbo it is mainly meant for carbohydrate so amyloplast are those leucoplast which stores what which stores carbohydrate material now for example if you see potatoes it is completely you know potato tuber it, it has complete carbohydrate in it starch content in it that is because it has amyloplast many amyloplast then what about elioplast the oil material of plant is stored in elioplast so it helps in storage of oil what about alluroplast then alluron layer have you heard this term alluron layer alluron layer we heard, we just uh, you know you do you remember where you have heard it in the seeds right so seed have this layer of protein alluron layer endospermic non endospermic all these things so there you find this alluro so you can remember alluron layer you know it is mainly because of what it is because of protein understood yes so types of leucoplast that is amyloplast elioplast and alluroplast amylo for the sake of carbohydrate remember amylase enzyme elio is for oil alluro is for protein so these are the different types of leucoplast